Welcome back everybody to the Jacksonville Jaguars franchise. Season 4 is on the way, but today we're going through the preseason first. All four games. These are the highlights of those four preseason games, and it's a chance to see the new rookies on the team, the new free agent pickups, and to see how this team looks heading into season four. So we'll jump into this and go all over the place like we usually do in these preseason videos. And the Bengals got off to a good start in this first game as AJ Green beats Nate Bell, now a third year corner. Green gets the touchdown and will turn things over to our offense. Of course, they were much improved last year. Much of that to do with the starting quarterback, Nataki Mason, and him making plays like this outside the pocket. Marquise Lee makes the catch. We signed him to a new contract this past offseason. He's still our number three slot receiver. Back to defense now. Dalton hit, but throws it up again for A.J. Green, and he makes the reception. You want to see how Nate Bell does against the best receivers in the league and so far he's not holding up very well against A.J. Green. The Bengals later from the 27. Look at Nate Bell come to at least make the tackle this time on the screen for A.J. Green. But Nate Bell, he's been fantastic his first two years. We expect more of the same this season. Third down, going up the field and almost intercepted by Josh Buchanan, our number five overall pick last season, and he had a great rookie year. Let's go back to the offense. Nataki Mason hits Julius Thomas. He racked up a bunch of yards after the catch on plays like that last year. Now the rest of this game is going to be backups. And here's one of my favorites, Keystin Holiday. You can knock him back, but you still have to bring him down. He's so fast and so much faster than everybody else. Holiday for a touchdown. We need to find ways to get him on the field. He's so electric. We just have so many playmakers on this team, but that's no excuse to not get this guy some touches. He needs to get the ball more in his sophomore campaign. More offense later. Matthew Stafford's in at quarterback, by the way, and that pass is hauled in by second-year wideout Vladimir Mims. He was a late-round height-weight speed project of mine, and this year he really needs to materialize and show that he can actually do something. This is Alan Hearns with the reception, also needing to play well this preseason. And then, it's Matt Stafford to Taj Riley, the second year undrafted tight end. He did not stay on the team throughout last season. We cut him at some point, but brought him back here. First half winding down, and there's a sack. It's Stephen Cole. I thought he might have a chance to start this year, but the deal for Ryan Shazier was too good to pass up. Cole's an excellent backup for us. Here's Stafford going up top later to Sean Bernard, the seventh round pick that you guys helped select in the chat during the live stream of the offseason, and he couldn't prevent Pierre Desir from taking it away. Later in the third quarter, Matt Stafford dumps it off, and look at Mims, fall down, get back up, and get a few extra yards. Nifty move here, just catch the ball, that's all I really care about this season. Let's go back to defense. Little play action, pressure with Deontay Nelson, and he chases the quarterback into Michael Bennett, who gets a sack fumble. We need to get more pressure this year, and that's why I invested so much in our defensive line and other pass rushers. So here is Rashad Marshall, and he's a guy who's definitely on the roster bubble, especially with the acquisition of this man. Rookie third round pick, a much debated pick after I selected him, Calvin Ford, who can't get the first down here, but can't really expect him to without blocking. Let's go back to defense in the fourth quarter. We get the pressure on the screen, and it's covered up nicely by Stephen Cole. He saw a lot of these second string snaps, and you knew where he was at all times. Third and ten, not much pressure. They're going to take a shot deep downfield. That is incomplete. Well defended by undrafted cornerback Oscar Austin. I love seeing undrafted guys make plays. 440 to go in the game, and here is Calvin Ford taking it off tackle. 239 with power and some speed to his game as well. Not going to blaze by you at all times. Might be able to get around the edge on some linebackers. But his game is really going to depend on his acceleration and power. And that's what I wanted to see. We need to see those yards after contact and earning those tough yards. On first down off the fake, nice throw outside. That's the new rookie quarterback, Nathan Justice. Sixth round pick hooking up with Sean Bernard. 
Fake sweep, play action, and the pressure's picked up, but Moore gets through. Deep pass off the hands of Mims and intercepted. The Bengals make a nice play here, and Justice was hit. He was shaken up, but he would be okay. Just need to be careful on plays like that. 17 to 16 as the game is winding down. And there's time to throw, going up top. It is incomplete. Nice job by Oscar Austin. He's not very big, he's not very fast, but he's finding a way to make plays. They call the screen again, and this time it's read beautifully by Sintamuel Gilbert, the rookie fourth round strong safety. However, they would get pretty close to the end zone here at the three, and pressure gets there, it's first round pick, Gilbert Collins. He's gonna have to earn his snaps though. There's a lot of talent in front of him. First down and 10, this is Justice on the move. Look at this throw he makes to Alan Hearns at the sideline. And they get to the 42 yard line with 25 seconds on the clock. Just trying to get in field goal range. And there's a pass going off the hands of Vladimir Mims. His big weakness arises again. Third and eight, seven seconds left. First down, Sean Bernard. He's challenging Vladimir Mims and sets up this game-winning field goal by Jason Myers. That is the first game of the preseason, a pretty fun one, and a one-point victory. I love when these games are close because I want to see these rookies and these depth players play when the game is on the line. But let's get back to focusing on the starters now against the Buffalo Bills in Game 2. They picked up Drew Brees, and Brees hits Sammy Watkins here as he gets separation off of Nate Bell. We'll go to our offense now as Nataki Mason outside for Marquise Lee. Every time Holiday makes a play, I'm just waiting for Marquise Lee to mess up so I can play him. But Lee had a very good year last season. This is TJ Yeldon, who doesn't get a lot of carries in preseason, not all that necessary. There's not a lot of new faces on this offensive line, but the one you want to watch out for is number 79, Lakeith Mason, our third round pick that I want to be the right tackle starter. He's not in the game at the moment, but a rookie who is, Calvin Ford again, rumbling down the field. And we can see his ability to make yards after contact. And I just love seeing him show off the power. I wanted Rashad Marshall to do this for two years and we really haven't seen it much. This is Nataki Mason on the move, and there's the tight end that was drafted in the same class as him, Michael Riley, down to the eight. There were some incredible trade offers for Riley. I was not interested, he's ours. Jump ball in the end zone, that goes off the hands of Vladimir Mims. We need to see a lot more from this guy. Just a little bit to go in this first quarter as Nataki Mason finds Emmanuel Sanders. He turns on the Jets and he is gone for a 57 yard touchdown. It was a great year for Emmanuel Sanders in his first year as a Jaguar, hoping for a repeat campaign. Some more defense here late in the first quarter. What a pick by Reggie Nelson with one of the plays of the preseason. He's one of the oldest players on the team, maybe the oldest. But he is the perfect player for what I ask for my free safeties. Here is some defense again later, and now it's Gordon Solomon breaking up a pass. He got some safety reps in there, and the receiver was shaken up. Here's a third and 17. They're testing us again. Solomon there to defend it. He didn't get to see the field a lot in his rookie season. There are some good corners ahead of him but I wanted to try him out at safety because you never know. I'm not sure there are many other players on this roster who aren't already in a starting spot that could fill in at free safety if need be. We're seeing a lot of defense here. Another deep pass down the field, testing McCray. He knocks it away and it's almost picked off by Gordon Solomon. McCray is our one big physical corner. And here he is again, jumping the pass, keeping his footing. And he's gonna win this foot race. All the way for a pick six. Demetrius McCray with two excellent plays on this possession. Okay, what can the offense do? This is Matthew Stafford to DC Jefferson. We have a third tight end battle between he and Taj Riley. Here he is passing again, complete to DC Jefferson. Getting close to the first down. Here is a third and short. 
Hands off to Calvin Ford. He keeps it off tackle. Look at the strength. He won't go down until Jefferson flips him up and over. That is by far the funniest play of the preseason. And we're going to watch it here again. Look at him break two tackles. And Jefferson just got in the way there. Third down and two later. We're going to keep this one in the air. Dump off. There's Ford making a move. He can do some pass catching as well. That's a 14-yard run. Definitely impressed so far with Calvin Ford. And this is him again. He follows the pulling guard, and there is the speed. Ford into the open field, spun down inside the 35. And he was shaken up. Calvin Ford has been making some of the most impressive plays in the preseason as far as offense goes. But this is not what you want to see. The trainer's checking him out. It's not looking promising. So he's out of the game. Here is Justice on the move. He lobs it for Riley, but it goes through his hands. Those are plays you have to make when you're on the roster bubble. So Rashad Marshall's now in the game with Ford on the bench. We see him with the power, but he doesn't have the speed to reach the end zone. Now let's go to the Bills inside the red zone. They're trying to punch it in. Here's a handoff, but Dakota Watson makes the play at the line of scrimmage. He's a pretty good, versatile backup linebacker. I definitely wanted to keep him around. On the move here, Justice outside the pocket, floats it up, and there's Rashad Marshall. When opportunities present themselves, you better be ready, and Marshall has made two big plays since Ford's injury. Back on defense, this is Deontay Nelson with the sack. We want to see a big step forward from him in his third season. Setting the rush on third down, that is exactly what I'm looking for. D Ford up the middle, a quick spin move, and that's another sack. Will this happen in the regular season? We're yet to see. Back to the offense, and that ball goes off the hands of Sean Bernard. He and Mims kind of not having the most compelling battle at the moment. But how about Michael Bryan? Falling backwards. The focus catch here by Bryan is good for an interception. He's entering his third year. Marshall gets the carry later. He weaves left. He has some burst to his game as well. I was always intrigued by that. He just never showed the power I hoped he would. Third and 14. Pressure was there again. But Oscar Austin was beat. And he does not have the catch-up speed. That's a backup safety passing him up there. So that is definitely not boding well for Austin's chances. And now they wanted to go for an onside kick and I wasn't like prepared to call an audible here. And wouldn't you know it, Dante Fowler recovered it and he got shaken up. This is exactly what you're trying to avoid in the preseason, unnecessary injury. This is why I don't do a lot of formation subs in preseason. I don't want starters out there beyond the first quarter. Thankfully. It was only a broken thumb, which would make him miss the last two preseason games. So he's going to be okay for week one, but we see Calvin Ford is going to miss the rest of the preseason and the first week of the regular season. This is our first round of cuts as Shelly Smith, veteran Dan Scuda, Andrew Leonard, Jeremy Parnell, and Keelan Hunt were all released. Still two games to go to finalize this roster and game number three is against the Cleveland Browns. We start things defensively. They have a tight formation here. Quarterback Derek Sam dumps it off, and that is Ryan Shazier knocking it away, covering the drag route very effectively. Here's a second down, and they're gonna run the football here. And look at Ryan Shazier out there again. He's our middle linebacker. Will he play in nickel situations? We'll see, I like Telvin Smith and Rolando McClain. This blitz by me did not work, and Dawkins beats Michael Bryan as the Browns get a touchdown. To the offensive side now, Nataki Mason downfield. It's tipped and caught by Emmanuel Sanders. He's ready for the season to begin. Let's see Mason once again. Oh, a bubble screen, and there's Keiston Holiday. You might see some more of this. I did edit the playbook. I like to do this after every season, get some new formations in there, get rid of some I don't like using, and there's Marquise Lee down to the one. Like after I go for holiday, just pay attention to how much I go to Lee afterwards. It's quite often probably. 
And then we get a touchdown here. It's Vladimir Mims winning the slant. First quarter winding down. We're back on defense. This is Sam outside and nearly intercepted by Nate Bell. Nice to see him rebound there. Here's a third and 25. I'm not sure how this happened, but we're going to go deep for Allen Robinson. And he couldn't hang on. Very quiet so far in the preseason, and he couldn't come through there. And later, look at Duke Johnson. He won't go down, and he reaches the end zone. This run also goes along pretty well with this music I have playing right now. Look at D. Ford and Jeremy Miles unable to make the stop. Third down and seven later, this is Sam having the pass knocked away by D. Ford. You probably won't see too much of D. Ford dropping back into coverage, however. Here is Nathan Justice on first down. Pressure in his face, but there's Alan Hearns. And he unleashes the juke to get upfield and pick up the first down. Hearns did a good job this preseason. You haven't seen him a lot, but I was impressed with him. Including right here. Great throw by Justice as Hearns makes the tough grab inside the five. Let's jump ahead back on offense. And that is a bad pass intercepted. And that gave the Browns the football. You can see their 11 point lead weren't doing too well here in this contest. The Browns trying to find the end zone here, but all they find is a loss of eight as Gilbert Collins splits the double team and collects his second sack of the preseason. Let's go back to the offensive side now. Justice up the seam for Vladimir Mims. That's a 25 yard connection. They work their way down the field. And here is Justice on the timing route. A comeback for Allen Hearns, and they connect for a first down at the 15-yard line. Keep it on the ground now. Denard Robinson getting some more carries with Ford out, and he gets around seven. Later in the third, it's Browns football. Pressure's there, and the off-balance throw is intercepted by Demetrius McCray. This is what pressure can do for us. It can force bad passes, it can force sacks. This is Antoine Dunn with the pressure in his second season. Hashtag done deal. Third and inches now as Nathan Justice goes play fake. He lobs it up and there's Mims. Too bad he slipped and couldn't keep his footing. These are the plays I want him to make. Elevate and make the play. He recorded zero catches during his rookie season. The fourth quarter is here, it's a five point game. And the dump off is complete and there's a big hit delivered by Jeremy Miles. He was shaken up but would return. Later they have it at our 25 yard line. The dump off here is incomplete as Stephen Cole shows up once again. I haven't shown like all the plays he's made, but he made quite a few of them. Unfortunately, no one here to defend the pass up the seam as the Browns get another touchdown. This is us after driving down the field. Jump ball for Sean Bernard. Nice grab for a score. That back and forth battle between Mims and Bernard started to heat up. And that was just an awesome grab. We're going to watch it three times. It was that good. Let's go back to defense. Trying to steal this game. It's a five-point contest. And Stephen Cole makes the interception. This guy is good enough to start on many teams. Think I'm trading him? Probably not. Here's a play fake and a pass complete to Sean Bernard as we go right back to him. Now at the five yard line, third and one. Touchdown, Vladimir Mims. Now they're working together and both making plays. So the Browns now trailing by one. We're trying to hang on. And here's a deep throw up the field, and that's a catch inside the 20. Not a very good play by Jeremy Miles, and they end up taking the lead. So we had our last chance here. Not sure Stafford has the arm for this one, as he sails it out of bounds. And that is it for this game. The Browns win by two. Here is the next round of cuts. Michael Bennett, a drafted player, Macon Harper, AJ Can, Trey Gordon, Dominic Floyd, and Anton Johnson were all released this week. Michael Bennett just is kind of lost in the shuffle with all the defensive linemen we have, so I released him. Now it's time for the final game, and there's not a whole lot of plays from this game in here. You've seen a lot of what I wanted to show so far, 
as TJ Yeldon breaks off a good run here. Jaguars at the Denver 28 yard line. This is Mason working to his left. Directing Robinson to go deep, letting it fly, and the pass is incomplete. I know these are tough situations, but you do hope that Robinson can make some plays there. And here is Franklin Fitzgerald. He is ready for the season to get underway. Here is a third and seven for the Broncos. And there's a pass down the middle. Nicely played by Reggie Nelson. And the old man is going to take this one across the 30. He's racing inside the 10, but is taken out of bounds at the two yard line. I was very impressed with Reggie Nelson's play this preseason. And then I decided to throw it down here at the one and get what I deserve. Intercepted to end the starters play here in the preseason. The rest is all backups. So the Broncos have it, and that is Adrian Carpenter, number 43. And he did a pretty good job this preseason as well. This is third and four, and Sean Bernard makes a catch on the outside, extending the possession. Matt Stafford is the current quarterback. He fakes to Denard Robinson, and on the move, he connects with Vladimir Mims. And what's impressive is he's currently being covered by Aqib Tlaib. Broncos football off the fake. Here's a pass downfield, and look at him take it away from Oscar Austin. That's just mean. Down at the 25-yard line. Again, they test Oscar, and that is another reception. Unfortunately, Austin splashed a couple times early, couldn't do so much later. And here's a nice play by Adrian Carpenter. Great instinct shown there as he makes the play in the backfield. We're going to go back to offense here in the third quarter. And look at Vladimir Mims hang on. He had to leap forward, hang on through all those hits. He is definitely one of our most improved players. End zone shot. Now he makes the catch but can't get his feet down. It's all progress as far as I'm concerned. Back on defense. Antoine Dunn. You guys know what the deal is here. And that is it for the preseason. The Broncos win this game. We went 2-2. Two and two. And we suffered a couple injuries. Dante Fowler, however, good for week one. Calvin Ford will be back in week two. But I want to show you guys the stats prior to final cuts. Calvin Ford had 106 yards rushing, and I wish I could have played him a lot more. It was a good chance to help him get XP. But instead, we saw guys like Vladimir Mims step up. 221 yards, two touchdowns. Sean Bernard played well and both kind of have inconsistent hands. So really when you just compare the strengths, you have to give the edge to Vladimir Mims. You see Stephen Cole leads in tackles. Adrian Carpenter also had quite a few. Gilbert Collins had two sacks. Don't look too far into this because I didn't use the rotation really in the preseason. And here are the final cuts. Matthew Stafford loses the quarterback battle to Nathan Justice. Oscar Austin is released. Sean Bernard as well. Rashad Marshall is released, Jared Ballard, and Taj Riley. So I had to release a couple of the players that I drafted. There weren't a lot of players worth trading up for, so I had to accumulate a lot more picks than I really needed to. So Calvin Ford is our only injured player right now. We won't see his rookie debut until week two. And up next, week one. It is the Jacksonville Jaguars hosting the Indianapolis Colts in prime time. The Colts will not have T.Y. Hilton or Kendall Langford for this matchup. And we open the season against all three of our division opponents in succession. Then we have the Steelers in an AFC Championship rematch in Week 6. We see the Dolphins who had a lot of free agent signings in Week 9. And we close the season with the Colts. So we're not going to see them for a very long time after Week 1. Thank you all for watching. That was the Jaguars Season 4 preseason. Week 1 and the Season 3 Touchdown Montage and Highlight Reel are both coming up next. And within a few days, both of those videos should be out and we will be into Season 4 very, very shortly. One player I didn't talk about today, by the way, was Haloti Nada. I just didn't play him much. We know who he is. We played against him twice last year. And with all the other players that needed snaps, I decided to play them instead. So Haloti had kind of the preseason off. The same goes for defensive end Mario Williams. I didn't really need to see them play a whole lot this preseason. 
We, however, will see them in week one with our defensive line rotation, and hopefully week one is a fun beginning to season four. Thank you all for watching. Leave your feedback down below in the comments section. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.